In this video, I'm going to show you three things. One, I'm going to show you how to navigate through our site. Second, I'm going to show you how to download and access a tape. And third, we're going to place a bid and submit it together. But before we do that, let's see how we can navigate through the site. First, you're going to need to log into the download page on our website. The download page will require a username and password which is sent to you once you've registered with Revival Brothers. Once you're on the page you're going to notice some navigation across the top here. Closed bid, open bid, and archive bid. If you click on closed bid it's going to take you down to the closed bid area. Now closed bids are typically bids that are awarded to the highest bidder and sometimes they go to volume bidders as well but the bids will not be accepted after the due date. So keep that in mind. All the due dates are listed for each tape individually. And each tape has information related to that tape as well as a download link and an NDA link if you haven't signed the NDA. Take note of the tape ID. In this case, the tape ID is RB03. And the states that the assets are in and then if you were looking for an open bid, you can go down to the open bid area and do the same thing. Open bids are typically just that. They're open. They're not closed by a specific date, but it's a first come first serve basis. So you should not spend too much time on going through due diligence on these unless you've checked to make sure that the assets are available. So please make sure that uh, you do that. Now, the second thing I'm going to show is how to download and access the tape. So we're just going to go to the latest one here because this one actually still has a due date that's valid. I'm going to download this tape and it's going to ask me where I want to save the file. I'm going to go ahead and save this file in a temp folder because I'll probably end up deleting it later. Now, you can see down here it's saved the file there. I'm going to open that that file in the folder that I saved it in and here's my my file okay I'm going to double click on that and it's going to prompt me for a password I'm going to type the password in and it's going to launch the tape now I'm in the tape okay so once I'm in this tape now it's time to make a bid and it's time to submit the bid. The, the first thing that you'll see are some links across the top. We've created tools for our investors to help them identify good deals and help them calculate quicker and make their bids quicker. So you have two different ways to navigate through this. Up here there's navigation and down here there's tabs. Okay. If I were to click through this you'll see me go from the instruction sheet to the oop, sorry you should also enable editing if you haven't done that click on tapes it'll go to the tape area click on yields it'll go to the yields and so forth okay so in the instructions we list all the information that's on the website the due date and pricing guidelines if there are any as well as the instructions We've created tools for you guys to set strike prices. Right now it's set to zero. Basically you just enter the percentage of unpaid principal balance that you're willing to pay. And when you do that and go to the tape, it will actually in the strike price column set that for you. The ones that you see that are zeroed out haven't been filled in. So if we go to this instruction sheet, you'll see that that's at zero. If I put that at a number here, 80%, for example, those zeros get filled in. So it also knows uh, the difference between the non-performing and sub-performing loans or performing loans, and it will automatically figure that out for you. Everything that you see in green are our calculations. Everything that you see in white is coming straight from the seller. We've also included a yields tool for people. This is a very 
useful and valuable tool in that based on the numbers that you input here on the instruction sheet 70 and 80 percent you can go to the yield sheet and you can see that the percentage of UPB is set to 70 and 80 for those subperforming notes. We've also included loan to value ratios, reinstatement fees. Now this reinstatement is for the unpaid principal balance only and does not include fees. So keep that in mind. FICA scores, which is important. Debt to income ratios, if there are any in the tape, they would be listed here. And then of course the lien status. So um, most people wonder well, why are they color coded? If you actually mouse over these areas here, it explains it all for you. I don't want to get too much into detail about it, but essentially when they are highlighted in blue like this or highlighted in red, it's either a good or bad indicator. And you can read all about it in these help help notes here. Now, the other thing is, is as you're going through this and you identify a deal that you feel is good, you can just type X over here and it'll highlight it for you all the way across so that you can actually study that and keep it for later. The other thing it'll do is it'll mark that or create a marker for you on your overall sheet, your tape sheet, so that if you wanted to, you can click here and you can check that as well so that you can have this um, as you're going through your initial due diligence. Now, let's say that you want to purchase this asset and you've gone through and you and you like the number, you like the strike price and you like the percentage of UPB that it's at. If we go back to our yields tool, we can see that the percentage is set to 70, right? And at 70, we're looking at a strike price of 312,000. So what I would do is I would copy this. I would come over to my place bid here section, and then I would paste that value in right there. What that's going to do is it's going to tell us that your bid is this number. And what you can do here where it says check, you can change this to offer. And that basically solidifies the offer. Once this is done, um, you might have multiple offers in here too. If for whatever reason um, the seller isn't paying our fee, we will let you know and it will show up in this column here. In this case, the seller is paying our fee, so there is no fee to the buyer and it's zeroed out. And that will always be 100% transparent to everybody all the time. Now, let's say I only wanted this one asset and I'm ready to place my bid. All I need to do is go to file, save as. I'm just gonna save this as what it was, dash bid, save. I'm gonna close my file. I'm going to see that file there. And then I'm gonna email that file to rtaylor at revivalbrothers.com. So, uh, and if you have any questions related to that, you can also call Rick at this number. So feel free to reach out if you need anything related to submitting a bid. We'll see you next time.